Hi there. I'm just setting up to do a um, null demonstration. I want to prove that uh, using AIFF, WAV, or FLAC will, uh, when inverted in the polarities of files ripped from the same source into these different formats, will null the file, therefore demonstrating that they are sonically the same. So I've got FUBAR 2000 here. Uh, sorry about the shaky camera set up. Just showing you the presets that I've got. I've got flat compressing at level 8, outputting a 16-bit file. Uh, I've got WAV, straight unencrypted, un uh, uncompressed WAV, outputting a 16-bit file. Uh, and we've also got an AIFF preset in here, also outputting a 16-bit AIFF file. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to rip uh, the first track from Donald Fagan's Nightfly album uh, to each of these three formats, and I will be back with you in a moment when I've done that um, to compare them uh, using a software audio program um, to prove to you that they are, in fact, sonically the same. Okay, so we'll be back in a moment. Ripping commences. So we're back after a couple of minutes of ripping these CDs. You can see what I've got here in my test file folder is three rips of IGY, uh, an AIFF, a FLAC, and a WAV file. Uh, you can see that the AIFF and the WAV are exactly the same size because essentially they're exactly the same file. And the um, FLAC file is just over half the size of the un 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 uncompressed PCM files. What I'm going to do with these now is I'm going to drop them into my audio sequencer. I've got running in the background here, ready and waiting. Uh, I'm going to put that on separate tracks. Uh, and that's going to create three separate tracks, each with my nicely ripped file. You can see they're all the same length there. So I'm just going to grab these and butt them up to the start of the timeline. Uh, maybe what I'll do just to make them a little bit easier to see uh, is if I just, sorry, holding camera and pressing keys at the same time is a little bit awkward. I'm just going to select those and change the color of the tracks just to try and make it easier to um, keep track of what's going on. So I'm just going to set those to some random colors. Okay, so uh, top lane here we have the FLAC file, then we have the WAV version of the same. Uh, sorry, and then the AIFF version of the same. So if I just solo the, f oh, unselect all of them, solo the FLAC file, uh, and hit play over here. Gloriously cheesy 80s sounds of Donald Fagan, uh, notably of uh, Steely Dan, in glorious 16-bit FLAC reproduction. Flick these around. Uh, what I'll do is I'll now solo and mute. So this is now the WAV version. Now I'm not doing this because I think that you're going to hear a difference between these over my mobile phone, but just to demonstrate that I have got rips of the same. Now this is the AIFF version. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play for you, I'm going to bring the WAV version in, right, now you should hear the volume jump a little bit, because that's now summing those two files. If I invert the phase, or invert the polarity to be correct about this, oh, silence, you can see the meters on both of those tracks are still pegging away as they were, they are still making a noise, uh, in fact if I unsolo the WAV, we can hear it. I solo the WAV that's got the inverted phase against the AIFF, and it disappears. Now if I unsolo the AIFF, you can hear the WAV, even though the phase is inverted. I can flip the phase back, inverting the phase of the, uh, of the WAV makes no difference on its own, but with the WAV phase inverted and with that track soloed, nothing happens. If I remove the phase inversion from the WAV, we get double volume. In fact, I can see it's peaking my meters over here um, because it's summing the two tracks together. I can do the same here. What I'll do is I'll invert the phase on the uh, AIFF. 
same effect. Okay, now let's try the big one, which is going to be trying one of these against the flax. So I'm going to take the AIF out of this. This is now the WAV playing. I'm going to invert the phase of the flax track and bring that in. Oh, silence as well. Okay, so what that means is that the, si the sonic signature of those two files is identical because they are phasing each other out. They're phase cancelling completely silently. Now I'll turn the monitoring up. Can't hear anything. Okay, if I take one of the tracks out, I'll take the uh, the WAV file out. That's the flat file playing now. Okay. So let me just put that back on. You can see both meters pegging it. All that's different there is that I've got the phase inverted on the FLAC file, and that's cancelling itself against the WAV. Now, just for completeness here, if I bring in the AIFF as well and take the WAV out, now there was a burst of noise because you were hearing the WAV and the AIF, and they were in phase with each other, so they're blanking it out. But the moment I took the WAV out, I've got AIFF with the phase inverted, uh, sorry, with the phase normal on that one, and the FLAC with the phase inverted, and they cancel. If I remove the phase inversion from the FLAC file, we can hear both. Um, so there is uh, proof as much as I really need to, have to demonstrate that there is no sonic difference whatsoever between WAV, FLAC, and AIFF.